Hi guys, 18 Dap here and welcome to this match day vlog Doncaster Rovers versus AFC Wimbledon in League 2. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to this one, Doncaster Rovers versus AFC Wimbledon in League 2. It was a game that was potentially not going ahead. A pitch inspection at 9 o'clock this morning after freezing cold temperatures did, well, the referee deemed it playable. Um, tongue in cheek I was hoping that it was going to be called off after Tuesday night's performance it was absolutely shocking the less said about that the better but it does give the Rovers an opportunity to actually give us something more than what we saw on Tuesday because that yeah very very poor hopefully much better performance needed um, there was just a lack of effort lack of commitment and lack of everything from, from the Rovers so anything more than that is a must for today a result as well would be nice Wimbledon a lot of injuries, um, not having a great season like the Rovers, but if you want to hear my thoughts in a little bit more detail, I will link my preview in the top corner of the screen. Now, uh, go ahead and check that out for a little bit more detail on this fixture. Um, if you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for sticking around with the channel and supporting it. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, if this video's got you here, please consider clicking subscribe so you don't miss any future content and the format we're down at the ground, we uh, talk to the family, get their thoughts on this upcoming fixture. I try and grab a Wimbledon fan for fans' thoughts, give you the confirmed team lineups, and hopefully capture some celebrations in the home end. It's been a long time since we scored a goal. Um, I think it's about nine hours of football. So, yeah, could do we get a goal today? So let's get into this one, um, get the family's thoughts, and hopefully grab a Wimbledon fan for fans' thoughts as well. Let's do this. Let's make a start with Max, um, Tuesday night, quick horrible. thoughts, horrible, there we go, is, like it, is that all you want to say about yeah. Tuesday night? Yeah, it was shocking, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so it's got to be better. Uh, are you wanting result and performance, or do you just want some sort of performance and some performance and result Passing. to take care of itself? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've gone with a 1-1, hopefully we, we get a goal, it's been about six to nine hours since we last scored. Uh, I think you've scored in, in time since Rovers last scored, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. Um, lovely volley last Sunday, so score prediction, mate. Uh, I'm going to go... 2-1 Donny 2-1 Donny so a bit of confidence from Max yeah. let's get Chris and me dad next up dad uh, Tuesday have you got over it yet? <laughs> I think I've just got over it don't ask me for comments on Tuesday because I'll be honest, I'll be honest. Channel. it is and I lost my head on Tuesday so yeah. we need to be we need to be gentle I'll on keep, this one I'll keep it clean but that I can't keep it clean it, it was shit it was poor wasn't it yeah, really? it was shit yeah. and for him to change when one striker up front's not working to change one striker for another one striker up front yeah. at least fetch bloody ladder on and give him a chance up front yeah try and build a partnership yeah, try and build something I mean when we, when we play two up front question on that though go on we didn't create that many chances so having two up front would, would we have created any more or is the problem in midfield more than the strikers no right, so I'll go back to when Lavery first came yeah. and he put him with Miller up front that first 40 minutes of football were really good. Yeah. They were looking like we could have some form of partnership developing and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden he changed it back to one up from. It's not worked. And it's not worked. I'm, I'm sorry. You don't have to be a football pundit to see that this five at back and one up front ain't working. And if he keeps persisting with it, I'm afraid I can see it costing him his job. Yeah, yeah I'd I'd don't like to, I don't like to see managers. Hope it doesn't, what, because I think the problem's higher up. I hope it doesn't, and I hope it proves me wrong yeah. and things work. But at the moment, what I'm seeing is no, frustrating. Yeah, no plan, we're having one or two shots on goal if we're lucky every game. Yeah. Uh, with five defenders at back, we want to push it up and pass it about and give it away and put ourselves back under pressure. Mitchell made some absolute class saves on yeah, Tuesday night yeah, did, yeah. because otherwise the score would have been four or five, not two. Yeah. And then I'm afraid four or five against them, it'd have been looking on their shoulder on Tuesday night. Yeah, not definitely. for the future. Definitely. But, but yeah. So well, yeah, you didn't want to say too much about Tuesday. <laughs> I, I know, you've set me on the right hand. <laughs> Let's just finish with a score prediction for today. <laughs> score prediction today, I'm going to stick with it. I, I can't see a score at the moment. Um, so, I'm going to go for this losing 2 1. Can't see a scoring, but you're going 2 1. Yeah. There we go. There'll be a known goal from them. Moving on to our Chris, thoughts on Tuesday? Yeah, not very good. <laughs> I think yeah, uh, poor win. Everybody yeah, just had a poor game. Yeah, I think so. that's probably the best way of putting it without yeah. good flying off handle. I yeah. mean, it, watch your blood back, you'll hear my dad going off on one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> about a minute and a half, my arm yeah, were aching. Nice, uh, I think it's 
is what it is. It was just one of them games just didn't seem to get going. No, it clicked. No, no. So it's much short passes were happening. Yeah, but hopefully we can brush it under the carpet and move on. And yeah. Frustrating news today is that this game we're on, even though weather we're a bit icy, so we've got to put yeah. a sense through it. Hopefully they can. Not against me away from this this time. Oh yeah. <laughs> but hopefully we can put a performance and get a result in. Yeah. Um, so score prediction for today. Two 0 Donny. Two 0 Donny. So Max has gone two one Donny. I've gone with a one one. That's a surprise to Max, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> and my dad's gone with a two one to Wimbledon. So yeah. there we go. Let's go and check out the fans' thoughts before the game. So guys, welcome to Fans Force. I'm joined with uh, Wimbledon SLO uh, Paul. Thank you for taking a bit of your time before you get into the ground uh, to talk about AFC Wimbledon. No, um, no. So it's been a bit of a tough season, hasn't it? it similar to, to the Rovers, I think all four teams that went down from League One last season into League Two have, well, rightfully struggled, haven't they? Yeah. You've got Gillingham, Crew, yourselves and then us. Um, is it a competitive division or were we just that poor last season? Is it Were you expecting to be where you are? That's kind of the question. I was going into the season expecting a nice mid-table mediocrity season. Yep. I think it's genuinely what we needed. Um, the big problem we had, we started off fairly well, start the season, and then in January all of our loans got recalled. Yep. We lost a couple of very good players, we lost a good striker as well. Um, We've sort of had injuries, you know, but just 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 what you get at this level. So yeah. nothing sort of ridiculous. Um, we, yeah, we. I, th I think we're all, all going to be fine, you know. But it's just getting acclimatised to League Two. You know, when you've had a team that's very young yeah. and you perhaps want to play a bit more fancy football, yeah, it it's just work, like it? yeah, exactly. You've got to be a little bit. Agricultural, should we say? Um, <laughs> that's, a, that's a good way of putting it in League Two. Yeah, agricultural is probably the probably the best phrase. Bit, I've we're, a bit, we're a bit naive at times, yeah. um, but nothing to worry about um, in terms of our team out there. Um, we've got a couple of loans that have recently come in have sort of started off doing quite well. Yep. We've got uh, Al Hamadi who's joined us from Wickham, yep. and then funnily enough, we've just been a little while ago. We were speaking to. Um, a parent of one of your players, okay. uh, Ben Nelson, yep. who is on loan from Leicester. Yeah. We've got Casey McLaren on loan from, um, no, sorry, Casey McAteer. We used to have a player called, yeah. so, uh, sorry, Casey McAteer on loan from Leicester. Right. Um, and he's he's doing quite well for us as well. Yeah, they look like I've got a de decent academy, yeah. Leicester, because yeah, no, ben, ben Nelson looks a, a bit yeah. of a player as well. I understand Robert Hoops here today. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, um, so score prediction. I think, I think you kind of answered about the player to watch. I was going to go with El Hamadi. Yep. Um, scored four in, uh, five in four. Yeah, five since, in four. Since yeah. Coming, and, so. and it's been he's been scoring in different games. So it yeah. wasn't just like yeah, he's not scored a hat trick. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, been, it's been pretty yeah. much a goal a game, yeah. hasn't it? No, um, so no. am I about right? We, he's probably the key player to watch today, or is, yeah, is it somebody else? No, I, I, I think El Hamadi um, will be. Uh, Start the year, personally, I thought everything was going through um, our striker, uh, Josh, um, Josh Davison. Um, and then uh, and we, I was a bit worried that, uh, you know, sort of when he wasn't playing, you know, sort of wasn't getting the chances, yeah. we weren't great. And then the last couple of games, he appears to have been a little bit anonymous, but I don't think it's anonymous. It's just not everything goes through him. Yeah. If that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. So other, other players are getting dragged. <laughs> yeah. In. Exactly. Which yeah. is good. Um, but yeah. Not for us, it's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Casey McAteer, I think, could be interesting this afternoon. Yeah. If he's involved. Yeah. Hopefully we perform better than what we did on Tuesday night because it was absolutely I, I, dreadful. I, yeah, no, I've heard. <laughs> um, so that leads us on to a score prediction. I've gone with a 1-1. We're not scoring too many, but I think I'd take a draw at the minute. So I've I've made reference to a couple of people uh, probably about three years ago now. We played a Tuesday night game here after it, the original one was called off because of snow. Yes. Very apt at the moment. Yeah. And it was the most dullest nil-nil of all time. <laughs> we don't want that. Well, I think we could be looking at one of them today. I just... Yeah. Just think, sort of, as you say, both teams lacking a bit of confidence at the moment. Yeah. Season sort of petering out of it. Yeah. Yeah. On the beach, aren't we? Well, I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> or on, on the snowy, snowy slopes at the moment. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, we've got one more who wants to jump in and just give a score prediction. Um, so we've got a 0 0, a 1 1. <laughs> What about yourself? Um, I think it'll be 2 1. It'll be a tight game. Um, both teams struggling for form. I think it'll be 2 1. Could go either way, but probably to us. There we go. Thank you guys for your time. I hope you have a 
a, a good enough day at the Eco Power Stadium. Yeah, no worries at all. Thank Cheers. you very much. Big thank you to Paul, the SLO from Wimbledon there. Uh, great insight into their club in fans' thoughts. Hope you enjoyed listening to what he had to say about their club. Uh, Confirmed team lineup: Jonathan Mitchell in goal, James Brown, Joseph Oluwu, Luke Molyneux, George Miller, Tommy Rowe, Harrison Biggins, Ben Nelson, Charlie Seaman, Charlie Lakin and Ben Close. So three changes from Tuesday night. Um, the subs, Jake Oram, Adam Long, Aidan Barlow, Todd Miller, Kyle Hurst, Liam Ravenhill and Caelan Lavery. Hopefully that's a starting eleven that can produce a performance and get us three points today. Um, not entirely sure what formations probably going to be a 5-4-1 once again but personnel and positions not 100% sure and hopefully that's a uh, formation that can get us and a squad that can get us three points today let's go and watch the first half side and it's a nothing shot it's a back pass and it's squirmed underneath Jonathan Mitchell absolute shocking um, but it's been so flat people are just frustrated you can feel it there's nothing here to, to get excited about at the minute it's a chore for everybody to come and watch the football and played, it's getting, better than the yeah, for 90 minutes last week yeah, but the, first, still. the first 18 minutes have been considerably better than, than Tuesday night but there's been very little to to test their keeper there's been very little to, to cut them apart and the first real opportunity that they've had has squirmed underneath and yeah it's a, it's a shocker from Mitchell it'll be on a Christmas uh, it'll be on a Christmas DVD for sure but we need to keep his heads up push on because if we concede another I think there'll be only one winner in this game um, we need to we need to get on it so short so, so poor but yeah I don't know if you've heard it in the background embarrassing celebration from their player um, to, fair enough if he's smashed it into the top corner but like I say it was a back pass that squirmed under the keeper one that Mitchell won't want to see back at all um, and he's come and celebrated it like he scored a worldie we've got a lot to do in this game 1-0 get up yes yes get in Biggins I think the bottom corner I'm so happy that he's finally broken this 
Barron run that he's had. I think it's November his last goal against Grimsby, maybe. I can't remember. In the comments down below, um, I'm sure somebody will be able to remind me. But it's been a long time, so I'm so glad that that, that pressure's off him and he's got that goal, um, which rewards his hard work in most games. But no, we've we've looked the better team since we went 1-0 down. We've moved it around a little bit quicker. We've kept us heads and we've got back in this game. Hopefully, I think Mitchell needs to just get a save um, just to get his confidence back up. But no, it's been good to see the response after going 1-0 down. 32, 33 gone, sorry. Uh, Rovers 2, Wimbledon 1. Half time, Rovers 2, Wimbledon 1. And much better after we went 1-0 down. I think he's changed the shape. I think we're now 5-3-2. I'm surprising what two up top can do. It can uh, occupy defence a little bit better, can't it? Um, obviously, we've lost a little bit of width, but I think we've, we've played... We played well since going 1 0 down and probably deserve to go into the half one goal up. Um, there's goals left in this, so we need to keep it tight at the back. Um, but we will see what happens. Much better than Tuesday night, um, but it couldn't have got much worse in all fairness, could it? So hopefully, another positive second half to watch. Let's go and watch it. Go on, Roberts! consistency and a bit of fight and desire from, from players only other thing to shout about today or, or this half was uh, Mitchell made a good save down to his right side it looked like his shoulder popped out um, so he needed that putting back in position um, thought Oren would be getting his, uh, his league debut but unfortunately not um, so yeah still 2-1 hopefully we can hold on to this lead into the, uh, into the final whistle Big chance there at the death for Wimbledon to get something out of this game. Not sure if they've really deserved anything. The, the one shot that they did have, which was a back pass and swerved under Mitchell, um, is really the only true effort that they've had. Bit of a chance there, um, headed back but just blazed over by the substitute. Um, I think we've been good value for the win today. I think the goal kick-started us, changed shape, and I think we've performed much better since going 1-0 down. Um, but yeah, we're ticking deep into the added five minutes now. Um, word on the ref, I think it's his first game in the AFL, he's done really well. Um, we slag refs off more than enough, I think it's worth saying, um, I think it's worth saying that the refs done well when they do do well. <laughs> Young kid down up front's just got audible and absolutely tonked it. <laughs> Love to see it. Uh, but no, I can't see anything else happening, or I hope nothing else happens. Um, I think this one's going to... I was going to say, I think this is going to go for a 2-1, but Wimbledon now have a, a decent free kick, so let's watch this one before we finish off. Oh, they've gone for a swing in the other way. What's going on? Everybody's everybody's on the pitch. I think the referee's blowing the whistle. I think that's full time. Uh, there's a couple of players down, injured. Very strange end to a game there. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's finished. Rovers two, Wimbledon one. All the coaching staff are on the pitch. Um, there's a couple of players down, injured. But it looked like it was destined to go in. Um, the strike from number seven. And he hit that player and went over the bar. And I think the referee. response, nice to see a performance after Tuesday night, and hopefully this kick starts is coming into this last leg of the season, as daft as it is, playoffs are still on, don't think we're going to get there though, um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this, big thumbs up for us, please, comments in the section down below, subscribe if you haven't already, join
join us tomorrow night for the 72 review at half past six. But all that's left for me to say is thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one.